Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. I'm Jacksaurus. And welcome back to Let's Play Goblins in what may be the final episode of Goblins 1. Yeah, we might finish it. Yeah, there's not that many scenes left, but we also have no idea what we're doing. No, we don't. They have given us no clue as to what we need to do. All we know is there's bananas. And we're back inside the castle. A lever, and there's a bobber that's floating now that wasn't before. Yes, and we have a catapult. And we have a catapult now. So. Which we didn't need before, but now we're going to need. So, like, we needed to get the joke from the guy so we could go into the castle to get the catapult. Guess, yes. To come to back help. out. We had no idea we needed that. We didn't. So. What should we try? I don't know. I don't know. What is this thing? Oh. You can shoot at things with your... You automatically have rocks, apparently. Yes. I was worried we were going to have to find the ammo. I thought we might have to get a banana out of it with the ammo or something. Do we... He's shooting it from there? Nice! Oh. I guess it's out of the way now. Wait, the whole point of this was so that we could get <laughs> the bananas down. Obviously. The guy punches them. He could have just kept punching until all the bananas fell. Do you think this lever will let the water go down, maybe? Or it might put it up. Oh, maybe. And reach the bobber. That's true. So let's get our puncher guy, I think. It's either going to be the puncher guy punches it, or, or the magic guy turns it into a <laughs> something. A button. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you, you think you can handle switches? You turn it into a button, then you can punch it. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, Are we okay? is it a shark or is it a dolphin? Oh. I guess it looked like a shark when it was coming out because, you know, I feel like it might be a job for the magician. You think the magician magic something? Yeah. No. Oh, I guess we can just go right on to. Okay, so it's just a platform. Can <laughs> you magic? So. Can you magic the bobber? I guess let's try. Come back. Can you do there? No. Can you sling? I don't know. Slingshot the bobber. Oh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like maybe we can just grab it. Maybe everyone just needs to stand on the dolphin. Oh, that is true. Although, why is there a bobber? Why is there a thing? There's got to be. But he just shoots it off to no. nowhere when he's there. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's just all try going on, I guess. This wouldn't be the first time we had to make them all stand somewhere. That's true. Maybe it's not a bobber or a buoy at all. Maybe it's a fish. Maybe? It could be a herring. A red herring. It could just be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So there you go. Where's the Kong Where's the go? That was the point of that screen. Oh, there's oh. cutscene. We're getting some voices here. We would not call that thing a dolphin. <laughs> Just look like a dolphin. Apparently, there's no voices this time. The elves set oh, off down the stream towards the underground caves, where the wizard is poisoning the bowels of the earth with his infamous potion. Oh no, not the bowels. The, we're, the earth's gonna get diarrhea. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. He's just. He's just. He's poisoning he's the bowels. Poisoning. Of the earth. Look at him go. In front of this rather large skeletal bird. Yep. And there's a bag. So where do we go? We got a fish, a bag, a wizard. Could you imagine? You just like shoot him and it's like, yep, you did it. <laughs> like, um... I guess I'll try. <laughs> uh... Oh no! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're not. It didn't seem not, to be the wrong thing to no. do. Can we? Are we soft locked, or do we just need to do stuff now? Uh -huh. Can you 
magic the bench. Interesting. Can you punch the... Alternatively, there's also a string going up at the top. Maybe we're able to climb up there and punch them. <laughs> it seems like if this, if this. Oh okay, no! Okay. So, is there another way to get up there? Maybe. What can we magic? I mean, what, something's got to be able to turn into something else, right? Yeah, surely they wouldn't have to really do nothing. Else. Nope. Oh, there you go. Of course. You made a ladder. No, nope, you come down here. Oh no, it's too no. late. I, was gonna think, I think it was one of those. I thought it was going to be one of those times where, for reasons, he can't go up it because he's the punching guy. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> be like, okay. Can, can you come up well. there and punch him now? Pick up. Oh, hey, look at. What are you thinking? <laughs> Can you pick up the bag? There's something inside the bag. An empty bag. Something else we could Spooky. punch. Something. <laughs> what would we do with an empty bag? I mean, do we try it? This guy with an empty bag. I, maybe he's not looking too slow know. now that he's a turtle thing. Try clicking a little more on him. Can you, can you put the bag on the bird's mouth? I thought maybe if he covered his mouth up, maybe, maybe he would, be yeah. Okay. Um, what else have we got going on here? I mean, I guess you could try catapulting uh, the guy. A chew, a chew. We lost health, so this isn't going to work. No. <laughs> Can you walk past him? No. Uh, no. Hmm. Pardon me, like, can you catapult our own guy in the face? Or, but, like, we might lose health again if he doesn't be in there. If we catapult this we guy? shoot our own guy. No, I can't. don't think so, no. Uh, well, maybe, maybe, yeah, uh, you hit this thing with the catapult. Just take it? No. Nope. Interesting. Is there something else we can play? Punch that down. Is there 
there something else we need to punch to get him loose, maybe? Well, there's one more thing you can hit with the cat. And I guess I could see how it could work. But so here's here's my clue to you. Okay. We could never climb the rope where it is because the guy keeps getting bit hit by the jaw. Right. Mm. He's that good. <laughs> now there's a rope down there. I thought I was gonna trick you into trying to shoot the jaw with the with that, yeah. Now we got a rope. Now we use the rope on the spider? The turtle? The what do we call this? It's, it's a spurtle. <laughs> it does nothing. Oh. Yeah, he throws it upwise when he uses it. Careful now. Don't be knocking over the If we beverages. came over here, there's like a little hook type thing over here. I think you have the right plan, but maybe you're just not in quite the right spot. You might need to move something to the side. Nice. <laughs> just over, you like, just to, yeah. to get closer. Just a smidge more. Over. Now we use this guy to climb and punch him in the face. <laughs> I mean, it seems like it. So far, you've used the other two to combat him. Now he is truly a spider. Oh, That's no! I hate when I get punched and I turn into a spider. Achoo, achoo. He's like, oh, you thought I was doing it from right now. I'm going way up here. Interesting. Do we still have the catapult? Yeah, it's just hitting behind the rock. Or not the rock, the pole grid. Either that, or I guess we could also try just... Magicking a spider. Oh, no! <laughs> That's game over. <laughs> oh. One step too far. Okay, well... Right, let's hit this load. I gotta type in that. And I already don't remember what our fancy version of the code was, so we're gonna have to use the one from the book. Which isn't too far. Away. I know it looks like a U. That's a V. <laughs> All right. Well, we got the first three steps down yeah. easy. Can you hit like escape or something? Skip the story. No. No. All right. Well, don't mess up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. But were we doing the right thing or no? Set off downstream towards Did we the just die to a... Did we? Where the wizard is poisoning the bowels of the earth with his infamous potion. Should we not have magic him? I uh, know. I think we did all the right things except for the last one. Well, I mean, we did some some wrong things, but we were on the right track. Do you remember the first thing you did? It was not the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think you are going to lose some hit points along yeah. the way, but uh, which is kind of a bit of a D move because like. First off, in the past, you've only lost hit points when you've done something wrong. Actually, we didn't lose hit points. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, I was going to say, if you lose hit points from doing the right thing, you're going to feel like you did the wrong thing. Because now the wizard's time to shine. Is that what we, did we do with the wizard? Yep. It's amazing we're not taking damage. 
<laughs> Though I guess that maybe that last one we weren't supposed to do then, because if I, we did, I it gave damage, yeah. Because not only did we take damage, I think it was actually a, if you do this, he's just going to die. I don't think we took so much damage that he died. I think it was just like, that's the wrong move, game over. Yeah. Which there isn't too many of in this game, but because you can't save as you go, that makes it a bit annoying to have yeah. an instant death. Also, once you figured out a level, you can figure out how to do it without taking damage. So they ought to have... I get to click a little further left. Oh, yeah, it's like top. Top. yeah. Same animation, but this time it hooks. Yeah. Yeah, because we had taken damage already, didn't we? Yeah, Last we took time? damage on previous screens, and we took damage just from punching him on the wrong side and shooting him with the catapult when we weren't supposed to. So we should match him. I don't think we should match him. I think it will be an instant game over. Let's go get uh... Because it's, spiders are scary. We definitely don't want baby spiders. But... <laughs> You're fine with the big spider? Well, no. But one spider is just one spider instead of like multiple. Yeah. That was a one big spider. I don't know. You want to catapult them? He's backing up. <laughs> no, it's the same thing again. It's the same and it's thing. Like, again. And it's like, and they don't even give you. It's just rude. That is rude. Yeah, I, f I feel like one of them being a game over is okay. Or just like it some hit points. Sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense that he turned into baby spiders when you hit him with not magic. No. So. And that, that we had full health, and that's it. I gotta look up the code again. Okay. Well. How do we get him down then? Maybe we well, put him maybe in we have maybe to interact the bag? with the. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe we need to get the, the empty bag. And... Uh, T. T. N. Oops, that's not N. N <laughs> maybe we won't finish today in this session. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. There's not. This is the last scene. <laughs> is it? Spoiler alert to everybody. Um, F. V. C. There we go. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Listen to the story again. Yes. Hopefully one last time. There's still a few more hints left, but... Um... The elves set off downstream but there's no more scenes, the there's no more codes. Where the wizard is poisoning the bowels of the earth with his infamous potion. That wizard and his foul poisoning. <laughs> okay. You're speedrunning it now. <laughs> kind of. You know all the right things to do at just the right time. <laughs> okay. Wizard, you're up. He's definitely getting more spider like as the things go on. Yeah. He's got eight legs, but he's got a but he's got like a shell, yeah. I guess and I guess it makes sense that he turned into baby spiders when you shot him with the catapult because uh, is he going to go all the way around to do this? That's perfect. He's doing all the work. Then he walks up to it. Nope. And then he walks backwards. Back. He couldn't have just walked to the spot where he'd do it. Because um, like, we, we punch him in the face and he turns into a different spider. Mm -hmm. So I guess within the world it has been shown that, yes, he's, he sometimes changes from just physical contact. Maybe he's somewhat in control of his uh, shifting. Maybe. 
First try. I swear, if we use the empty bag on him, he turns into a bunch of little spiders. <laughs> it's like, what? what? What else do we do? Well, I tried clicking because so maybe I was supposed to run away really quick. <laughs> okay, so. That's all else we can pick up, right? Yep. And if that doesn't work, I don't know. Maybe we. I feel like if you put them in the bag, you got all the time in the world to take them out. It doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? That's much. Well, I guess my only thing to guess then is we have to interact with Mr. Pressure somehow. Yes. So I would try. Uh, did we try magic him yet? Magicking him? Yeah. No. Maybe we can just like make the webs disappear. That's true. Turn the webs. No. Not so much. Now the fact that he's so far away gives me a clue, but um, like when you interact with him, you walk really far away, right? Yeah. Everything else we've walked really far away from how we interacted with it. Oh, so maybe we need to slingshot him? Yeah, maybe that'll get him down. Makes sense. That's how we got all the other ropes down, right? Yeah. Well, it would be good, too, because um, it would mean we're not interacting directly with the spider. That's so true. It, it would free... Like, the spider can't suddenly attack... Well, I guess it can, but it oughtn't suddenly attack one of our guys. <laughs> He's just mad now. All now right. we go get the bag. Maybe? If this works, all I'm going to say is that I don't understand why one couldn't just stick the bag on him when he was holding the web. Yeah. <laughs> Thus making it even safer to get your buddy down. Not so much. Hmm. This is the problem. We can't save the game. So I don't want to magic him because I don't want to turn into a bunch of little spiders. But I mean, if he turns into a bunch of little spiders, we're not there anymore. I suppose, yes. Right? Oh, oh. We've had to do things like this before. Maybe what we if... need to put the bag. Uh, can we put the bag underneath? That's what I was thinking. So then. So make sure when you put it in the right, the, the right spot. Yeah, so that okay. when, they, when they go down, then they end up in the bag. Try using the hand, the fist icon instead when you're there. No, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, try. Right. Yep. Interesting. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose the worst that could happen is if we're not supposed to have it there, I then mean, we have to go pick it back up again. Yeah. That looks pretty good. No, it's it. Not going. Into he turned the back. <laughs> I think we were on the right path there, but I think you have to put it down, down below the other guy. And not on the one. Oh, oh, okay. So now you gotta go get the catapult. Except, though. Can you get the catapult without getting you? We'll find out, I guess. Okay. I mean, we're full health. If you have to do this, it's not. Do we have the catapult? The catapult is behind the culprit. Uh, so I don't well, know if you're gonna be able to grab it. No. Okay, they didn't soft block you. Okay, yeah. that's fair. I think if you just interact what with them. What would it be? How would you? I don't know what would happen then. Like, you'd just be stuck? I think if you try to do other things to him, he probably. Yeah, you'd just be stuck. It's a, it's, we call it in the gaming community a soft block. Yes. Because the game's locked. Right. But you don't know it. Yes. Because you can still move around, right? Well, do you know what? At least half the stuff is already done. That's true. Like, you're going to be able to get where you need to go. 
maybe. There you go. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't want to go over there. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't too bad. I'm not. I'm not yeah, too upset not. about this one because you can do all this stuff again place. right away. Yeah. If it was another instant KO, like the spiders fell down and landed on your guy, I'd be pretty annoyed. But it's not too hard to get this uh, next part done. No, you're getting things uh, set up ahead of time and everything. Well, I wish you could do more than one thing at a time. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. You're, you can, can you still be the guy? Oh no, I was just stuck on him. That's funny. The guy was him for a bit here. I was uh. like, why isn't it working? I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta move that bag. Try using the fist icon when you put it down instead of the grabby icon to see if it... Um... Again. Again. A chew, a chew. If he doesn't land in this bag, I'm pretty annoyed. I feel like I'm going to put this guy over here just in case oh, like, so we have quickly. to grab it. I don't yeah. know. Like... Got nice. It. But now what? Um, use the bag on something? Even if you put him in, he comes back to normal. <laughs> back into, yeah. No, all over again. Oh, you hold up the bag in victory. <laughs> and then everyone's like, heck yeah. Nice. And we're not getting any, uh, we're not getting any passwords. I think that might be it. Oh, there we go. Well, I mean, I think that's it. There we go. Which takes a while to load up the, the cinematic. The Goblin Cinematic Universe. That guy's whipping that Yak's butt. And the Yak seems to like it. So, story thus far. The horn players are horning. Everyone's happy, doing jazz fingers as much as they can. The wizard has been placed in a bottle. We are blowing kisses. At some point, will the king tell us we did great? Will it exit to Doss and tell us? Thank you for playing Galbraith. I don't know. Will anything happen at all? Like it... The problem is it showed us some animation. I mean, are we not giving... We're getting our victory any, parade like, The end? I don't know, praise from the king himself. I don't know, I mean, like... Space bar. Uh, this... Like, nope. This is the end. This might be it. I'm surprised they're not playing, like... Although the music hasn't leaked yet. So what did you think of the game? Um, it was good. I think not having played this first one, but having played like number three. Yeah. <laughs> it's Maybe a little bit frustrating two. that like can't do multiple things at once. Multiple at the same time. So there's some some quality of living things that, that aren't there. Like maybe saving the game whenever you want. Yeah. It's true. Um, oh, so you just had to wait long enough. I guess so. That's how they get you. This is just the opening cinematic, unless something's different. This is just the opening cinematic. Anyways, I enjoyed the game. I thought it was yeah, fun. I, I thought my two complaints, not being able to skip cutscenes, yep. not being able to save wherever you want, those are tied together. If you could save wherever you want, I wouldn't care if you could skip the cutscenes. 
And then the other complaint um, is that some of the puzzles were really, I hope you bought the hint book puzzles. You know yeah. what I mean? They're like, the game's not that long if you have a hint book, yeah. right? Like, we purposely didn't use the hint book. You could easily go through this game now pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, like, it, it doesn't have the replay value, really, unless you enjoy the... Uh, Looking for humorous animation. Like, now I don't care if I die on this level. I'm gonna yeah. just load my save and and do all the worst things and see what terrible things I can do to my my elves. Yeah. But um, just finding all the different ways that you could die in a level. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, and and like you know what? A lot of these adventure games, uh, point and clicks, and even the text parser adventure games, like the early space quests and stuff. If you knew what you were doing, they were very short games. Yes. Well, even like, because like Hugo, right? Yeah, Hugo. If you know if what you you're know doing, you've done that game in no time. Quickly, right? um, I, there's a speed run of that game I should show you at some point. It's pretty, it's pretty short. Which one? The first <laughs> one? Hugo's Third one, yeah. The second one? Um, but anyways, uh, other than that, though, I enjoyed the time of the game. The humor uh, was pretty good. It was it was funny seeing some of the stuff happen. Uh, and outside of the... the Puzzles that you absolutely would either just be having to brute force everything everywhere all the time. Every single, like, like where do I put this dagger to make them breathe yeah. fire? Oh, I know. I'll put it in every single pixel on the screen. Yes. No. Like, Maybe that's like use something the that they expect you. To just magic every single spot to see if it turns, if it turns into something, something different. Exactly. So, like, there, it's not a game that, like, you could, I don't know if you could easily beat it without some sort of help. You might figure things out, but it's taking a long time. Now, if you were an eight-year-old kid with unlimited computer time, that might work. But uh, most eight-year-olds I knew when I was a kid, we had limited computer time. Our parents didn't just let us go for hours and hours and hours. I guess so. But so, granted, there's only so many things you can. But we also you can only, click. You only have three yes. guys. You can only each kind of. Do most one of the thing, things are like that. It's the right? ones where you have to put something down somewhere and just wait. Yes. Because yeah. there's no um, feedback right away that you did the right thing. Yeah. So it's a little confusing. But uh, other than that, I enjoyed the game. And so I enjoyed did I. time together with it. Yeah, same. Maybe uh, we'll do Goblins too. Maybe. Maybe. I do already have it installed on the computer. <laughs> Come on, we'll see. Now. I don't know if I played that one either. Well, Maybe I've only played reason. Goblins 3. <laughs> all the more reason to check it out. Um, thanks to everyone for joining us on this uh, Let's Play adventure. Yeah, and, thanks. And uh, we'll see you another time. Bye.